What's going on everybody? It's the A3Z Sparky here with another banger. Today I'm terminating some blower motors. I'm working at a car wash. These are all fed out of the MCC. So I've got my three, six, nine. I've got my nine blowers pulled over here. So I'm gonna get them secured, stripped back. We're gonna terminate them to these spots. I hope everybody's having a great day. Smash that like button. Like that, like that. Okay. Let's see. Let me grab my paper. Y'all give me one sec. Let me grab my notebook. I got to change a couple of these dryer locations. People trying to go through the car wash already, huh? <laughs> What's going on? So I got my paper. Only reason I've got to change a few of these whips. They're a little short on a couple motors. No problems, only solutions. We're just gonna swap locations and dryer numbers, change stickers. So Super short. Originally seven. Original seven is now blower one. When you're feeding these down the back of your cabinet, obviously, let me show y'all. Obviously, you don't want them just draped over the front. So when you're feeding them behind your cabinet, you only have a narrow space. What I like to do, take a piece of string with a few washers, tape it to the end of my cord, my SO, pop it down the back, and just jiggle and listen for the washer to ride down the wall. Just a little pro tip. It helps me drastically. Maybe it'll help you. Set y'all up in a better spot. There we go. Also, make sure you take pride in your work, everything you touch. Pull all the tape off. Don't do shoddy work. We do a dangerous trade. And I come into contact with so much bullshit that could be avoided because of people negligent. And before long, it's gonna get somebody hurt, so let's not. Finger crossed, Derek. Yeah, finger crossed for sure. Straight to it again? Yeah. Something ain't jiving. That's when the unit broke off? No, he just put it back on. So he, yeah, take the take the last joint loose where you're at with the unit on it. No, like with the whole line up to the unit. Yeah, take it loose from the unit right here, right? Yeah, hang on. Yeah, take that joint loose at the unit, that the MC whip for the unit, and leave everything else connected and see if we get power to hold down the run now. Because that unit could be wired up wrong. I told you he went and cut the tags off and just went to doing what he freaking wanted. Like a big dummy. So I got 300 people in here now. Y'all please smash that like button. All for electrical tips. I don't claim to know it all, but I show what works for me. I don't know, y'all just keep playing with it. I guess, I don't know. Yeah, we'll get it out. Elusive, the elusive heater. I don't even know what that is. Can't they just do without it? <laughs> yeah, UH1. Ah, they don't really need that. Come 
own this fucking painter to excuse my language. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. But check out some of my other videos. Try it. Try it. I mean, y'all. Damn it, man. I don't know why this shit ain't working. Steel trip? Yeah. The last thing to troubleshoot, it would be a pain in my dick. Yeah. Y'all got any tips on troubleshooting? What you working on? Working on an MCC cabinet right this second. Uh, got nine dryers that just come in and got added in the tunnel of a car wash. So I'm landing the nine blowers right this second to the MCC cabinet. And then I've also got a couple light bars from Arches that I've got to land and terminate. But, uh, for this stream, I'm just gonna terminate these nine blowers and talk with y'all for a minute. What we got? Sharpie on white marking tape is way better than the blue painter's tape. Yeah, I believe that. This is all we had the other day and I told him to go with it, but I am definitely regretting it. Any tips for stripping this SO cord? Cause it ain't worth a dang. Oh, yeah. What we got? We got a ground spot on that actual thing. So I mean, I gotta strip this way back. Mm. Is that my root cord? No. I totally understand that. Someone get my man at M18 off a cable stripper kit. For SO cord? No, nah, dog, that ain't gonna work. I'm in South Georgia. Hinesville, actually, right at Fort Stewart for the most part. A lot of people know where Fort Stewart is. For 292 people well yeah I'm in South Georgia I'm curious to know where all y'all are at it intrigues me with the way the internet is these days it's crazy Okay, Sullivan. I see you, big dog. Minnesota, North Carolina. Got a lot of Southern. UK, rock on, brother. I appreciate you for tuning in. Yes, sir. I'm out of Houston. I'm in New York City, but I'm home in bed. <laughs> Lucky you, huh? Must be nice. Nah. I don't know the conditions. You may have something going on health-wise or something. Let me not say that. Yeah, I guess that's gonna be me. Let's see, I can cut them off there. Well, get your ass up and get to work. 
No, I'm just playing. You work whatever you can afford to pay the bills with, my man. I got something to ask y'all about. Just got this in the mail yesterday. It's a new feral crimping tool and kit. If you're not familiar with it, takes the round ferals and crimps them. I've been seeing videos on them and I just had to get one to try. So here I am. With it. Um, they look really convenient and like they do the trick, but I haven't tried them yet, so. The way I understand though, you strip more than you need. So that it protrudes. And hub it out. Crimp and release. Crimps it into the perfect square. Makes it a lot easier for landing to a terminal block. It don't blow out on you. Once you've got it crimped, you simply cut off your excess. My strippers suck, but cut off your excess. She's ready to land to the block. Pretty cool, pretty convenient. Dang. I hope everybody's safe, warm, working, able. I got all these folks in here and I ain't got but one light. Do you fill out your PTP? Nah, dog. We don't do none of that. PTE, PPE, PPP. We don't want none of that, cuz. There we go, two lights. It ain't a lot, but it's getting there. Let's see if he's gonna climb. You can't do this, boy. I hope he's got his own. I am not terminating right this second. I'm gonna get everything ready. I got to double check with the equipment guy to make sure he does not have all of his circuits on for these blowers. I'm also using my insulated change climb. Uh, if y'all are interested in any of the tools you see, I list them to my Amazon storefront. I'm an affiliate. I just put on there tools that I use and trust. You do fiber splicing too, no. Honestly, this is one of my first few times messing in a motor control center. Um, but here we are. So we're doing it. Uh, Trying to think any more, any kind of tips or something I got for y'all. I'm fixing to cut it so I can focus on what I'm doing. I appreciate y'all tuning in for a minute. If you have a minute, go check out some of my other live streams. Smash like, subscribe if you enjoy it. Yeah, that's it. Y'all have a great day. Deuces.